Hey everybody, Justin from Gold Penguin here, and this is going to be the first video of a multi-part series of creating and designing a website from scratch with Breakdance Builder. Um, if you don't know what Breakdance Builder is, it is a WordPress page builder that recently came out. Um, so we're gonna be using the first version, and I'm gonna be walking through pretty much the whole process of setting up and deploying a website. We're gonna be going through installing WordPress with Breakdance, um, customizing the settings and defaults, as well as adding things like Google Analytics, Site Kit, and a bunch of other default settings. Uh, we're gonna be making a header and a footer, setting up our landing initial hero page. We're gonna set up content pages. I'm gonna show how to create custom post types. Uh, let's say you are making a real estate uh, website and you wanna have listings on there, so something like that. Um, Going to go through creating a WooCommerce shop with products if you are selling things in person, something physical, or if you're doing digital downloads. I'm going to go through setting up a contact page. We'll create a blog too, do some fancy customization with the blog. I'll show you how to add your client access to let your users that you're building websites for, uh, if you are, if you're not building one for yourself, but I'll show you how to do that too. And then we'll wrap it all up with optimizing the website for speed, plugins, images, pretty much everything that you need to get your website pretty much launched. So um, yeah, in this video, we'll go ahead and install WordPress uh, with local. At the end of the tutorial, I will explain how to deploy this to a real host. So we're gonna start off developing the website on your own computer uh, locally is what it's called. And so we're gonna do that so that you don't have to pay for hosting. You can start and stop the website whenever you want, just kind of keep everything contained. It's very easy to set up and get started. And then as you get familiar with more technical things later on, um, it will make more sense what we're gonna be doing to deploy it to the web. Um, yeah, so this tutorial's, tutorial is gonna be for people that are brand new, have never made a website before in their life, but can also be used for people that have like some technical knowledge uh, in between, I'd say, knowing absolutely nothing, and then people that know a decent amount, but kind of wanna learn more about breakdance. So yeah, let's hop into installing WordPress. I hope you all enjoy all of these videos. And again, please leave a comment if you have any questions. But yeah, so let's hop into installing WordPress and breakdance. Okay, so head over to localwp.com. This is Local's website. We're gonna go ahead and download this beautiful program that helps you set everything up super quickly. It's a free program, so download that, install it, and let's hop into Local. So once you set up Local, it's really easy to add a new site. Click on this big plus icon, create a new website, and we're gonna go ahead and fill out some details. So the website that we're gonna be doing in this tutorial is gonna be a real estate company real estate, housing, apartments, anything. So let's call this real estate tutorial. Um, go ahead and call this whatever you want. If you wanna follow along, do that too. Uh, we could check the advanced options. This is going to be the domain of what goes into your browser. It's like, you know, goldpenguin.org, but this is uh, whatever you want it to be. And then this is gonna be where it gets saved on your computer. So you could keep these the same, doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, it doesn't really change much. So go ahead and continue, keep the preferred settings on and we're gonna create a username and password. I'm gonna create admin and admin and put some random, I guess we could do Justin and Gold Penguin. Um, but yeah, don't do not do that, don't do admin admin. The only reason I'm doing it, um, even though we are setting this up locally, your goal eventually will be to move this onto a, a hosting site, onto some website somewhere. So definitely make it something not hackable. Admin admin is a horrible uh, login and then you can keep is this a WordPress multi-site to know because we're not going to be doing that that'll be that's a whole other ball game so once we're done hit add site and it creates your uh, local site pretty quickly what this is going to do is install WordPress on a local environment so you don't have to worry about doing anything manually again this is going to be should be really simple so uh, this should take about a few seconds and then now we should be up once you're done, go ahead and open the site. It's gonna open it in your web browser and you are going to see the default WordPress installation. So this has nothing to do with Breakdance. If you wanna install Breakdance, you can go from here. Uh, I mean, you can keep watching, but if you don't wanna install Breakdance, go ahead and, and do as you wish with this. But yeah, so this is what the default WordPress install looks like. Go ahead and hit WP admin, or you could type slash WP dash admin to your login, or I think slash admin works too. Yeah, it does. And so once we're here, go ahead and type in your email and password. Uh, remember me, check that to keep it saved. And now you are going to be in your admin panel. And so this is where everything is gonna kind of start off, go from here. Um, we're gonna install Breakdance and we can go ahead and close this. But yeah, this is the WordPress dashboard. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give a little overview of it if you are 
unfamiliar with it, but if you are, then go ahead and skip to the next chapter in the video. But yeah, so this is the WordPress dashboard. You're gonna really see a lot of things. Most of these are pretty pointless, uh, to be honest with you. I only use at a glance, uh, and then maybe the activity, which is kind of interesting. It'll tell you what you know what gets published, what's planned, but this is like way down the line. So you could keep at a glance here. In the future, we're gonna have Google Site Kit here, which will give you all your stats of how many people are going to your website. But for right now, this page is kind of uh, pointless. But um, you can go into the settings of your WordPress panel into general, and we'll go through all of these options now. So site title is gonna be exactly what it sounds like, what your website is titled. If you go to your uh, website, real estate, tut real estate tutorial is gonna be put at the top. And so that's what you could put here. You could uh, name it whatever you want, and it's gonna go here. So we're gonna do breakdance, uh, let's call this gold, gold housing, I guess. Just another WordPress site is gonna be the tagline. I would make this a one sentence description of what you do. We're gonna say the best um, housing on the market. And then yeah, keep these the same for now. Go ahead and type in your email that you want everything to go to. And then you can go ahead and change some default settings, your time zone, date formatting, uh, I like to keep PM checked and then start the week on Sunday. Again, these are things that aren't really gonna impact many things. It's just for organization and convenience. You can go ahead and save these settings. The writing tab is going to be things for the blog. We are not gonna touch this right now, but what we will touch or what we will look into is the reading page. So right now, if you go to the start of your website, you are brought to this weird blog sample page. Um, in a little bit, we are going to be fixing this up, replacing this a little bit, and we're gonna set this to a static page. And so in a few minutes uh, or a few videos, we're gonna come back and we're gonna change homepage and post page, where homepage is actually going to go to the homepage that we make, and then post page is gonna go to our blog index page. But again, we don't need to worry about this for now. We're gonna do it later, but just in case you do decide to, you know, you need this, this is what these are for. I would not keep it on your latest posts. And then, yeah. Okay, and we're gonna skip the rest of these and go to permalinks. So permalinks is gonna be what goes after your URL when you are blogging. Um, for Google's sake, for my sake, for everyone's simplicity's sake, I like to kind of keep the post name here. So what I'll do is I'll have blogs get published under uh, slash blog slash whatever this post name is. As we do this and create the blog later, it should automatically uh, kind of format like that if it's like this, but um, if you do prefer to do dates, you could have that here with the day name, month name. You can customize it using all of these two if you want some other order of this, but generally speaking, you definitely want the post name in your title because if you are making a blog about uh, housing, you know, you want best apartments in XYZ area to show up here. So definitely you want to uh, keep this permalink here. Um, and yeah, so those are pretty much the basics of what we're gonna go over on in this video. If you check out all your users here, you can go ahead and create uh, new users here, edit your existing user. I actually spelled my email wrong, so I'm gonna go and fix that. And yeah, that's pretty much the basics for this. We've got plugins, appearance, and yeah, okay. Now to add breakdance to your website, go ahead and to go into plugins and go to add new. So Breakdance is not available on the WordPress plugin repository, so you are going to have to go to breakdance.com and buy it. As of making this video, Breakdance is an early pricing where you can get it for $149 a year. It will be going up to $349 a year later. Um, this is a little pricey in my opinion for a for unlimited, I mean not for unlimited, I'm sorry, for one website. Since you can use this on unlimited, it is a wonderful deal, even at 349 if you're an agency, wonderful, wonderful deal. But for $149, hopefully they'll make a, a one website plan, you know, one or two, because you don't need unlimited websites if you're just trying to make one for a simple business that you're trying to start. So once you go ahead and buy breakdowns, you're gonna have to download the plugin. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to that right now. On the Breakdance download page, you should see Breakdance 1.0 or whatever the current version of Breakdance is. Go ahead and click that and you should get your download. Just like that, we'll navigate back into WordPress and we're gonna upload a plugin. Here, you're gonna upload it here and go ahead and install your plugin. Once the plugin is installed, activate it. And we are going to disable the theme because we are building the site from scratch. So Breakdance lets you edit a current theme if you happen to be browsing Theme Forest or any other WordPress themes, if you're looking anything up, best WordPress theme for a law firm or whatever you end up doing. But we're gonna disable this because I'm gonna be showing you how to create this website completely from scratch. 
Um, I would put in your license key to have your one-click software updates in the dashboard. This isn't really required, but later on it's gonna be pretty useful. So go ahead and put your license key in and then finish setting up your website. And just like that, once you have Breakdance installed, you have all of these settings to go ahead and start working with. We're not really gonna go into any of them now. As needed, I'll explain what each of them do, but we do have our templates, headers, footers, and block section, which is kind of one group. Uh, we've got our pop-ups, and then we have a beautifully easy place for form submissions. So this is gonna be anyone signing up for a newsletter, trying to contact you about your services, or any other form way that we're gonna be collecting any information will be centralized over here. And then we have a bunch of breakdown settings, but again, don't need to get into those right now. But now you do have WordPress installed locally and you have breakdown set up. In our next video, we'll be going over how to create your heading and footers. And yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. It really helps and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.